Okay, good afternoon class. So it's already, I'm sorry, it's already 4.05 here in my time. So let us start with our discussion na. Um, I would like to confirm or ask if clear lang ba akong audio? Yes, ma'am, it's clear. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so thank you. Um, for our discussion today, it's all about the introduction to management, um, its definition and its concept. Okay. So for today's um, lesson, this would be our learning outcome. So at the end of the discussion, you should be able to define what is business, organization, and management. Um, explain the concept of management and its classification of business. Um, discuss management as an art and science. Um, differentiate efficiency and effectiveness to the management aspects, and lastly, discuss the five functions of management. So what is business? Anyone would like to answer? You can just um, raise your hand. Um, Naa my raised hand button sa Google Meet. Okay, so, manawag lang ko ha. Um, Miss Alaw, um, what do you think uh, is the definition of business? I think Miss Alaw is not available. How about you, Miss Gonzaga? Honey Rose Gonzaga. Miss Honey. Okay, so matawag lang ko glain ha. How about you, Miss um a uh, Mr. Napunta. Sige. Mr. Uh, Robert Vasquez. Business is the activity of making one's living or making money by producing or buying and selling products. Okay, thank you. So basically, no, uh businesses involves um um, buying or selling products or producing products to earn a pro profit for the business man or for the company itself. But according to uh, Stephenson, uh, business is a regular production or purchase and sale of goods undertaken with an objective of earning a profit and acquiring wealth through the satisfaction of human wants. And also, according to Dickes, it is a form of activity conducted with an objective of earning a profit to those whose benefit, whose behalf the activity is conducted. So basically, both um, definition um, has its objective to earn a profit. And also, um, as Stephenson means, uh, it generate a profit and through generating a profit, it will acquire fortune via satisfying uh, the needs and wants of the humans. So aside from the definition of Stephenson and Dickes, we also have here a definition coming from Lewis Henry. So it is a human activity directed towards producing or acquiring wealth through buying and s selling goods. So it is also the same. Okay. Um, it is a human activity um, that directed on producing uh, goods. And also, through producing goods, people will buy. And also, aside from buying, there were also people who will sell those goods. So basically, a business, um, it is composed of an organization that engages trade of goods and services or both to consumer. Okay? So with all of this definition, we can say that the business is a term or the term business <clears throat> this refers to the organization or enterprising entity entity engaged in commercial industrial or personal activities so business can be a for-profit 
entities or they can be a non-profit organizations that operate to fulfill charitable missions okay and then business also it can be ranged from sole proprietorship to internal international uh, corporations so it can range in a size it could be in a small business or two large business since i have been talking about organization um it is important for a business to have a system okay to have a organization so who are those people behind okay who are those people who will determine to who will determine the goals and who are those people who will act to achieve that goals okay so organization um, the definition of organization is it is a social group, okay? It is a group of people with ideas and resources working towards common goal. So the stems for the word organism, which means to create structure with parts fully integrated. It is consisted of two parts, um, works to be done and the person who, who is going to do it. And it is a formula structure of rules and positions. So basically, organization um, refers to the collection of people, okay? Who are those people involved in pursuing the defined um, objective? Um, it can be understood that a social system which comprise of all formal human relationship. So the organizations is, um, it will help the business divide work among employees and the organization will help um, align the task to each employee or to each part of the organization towards attaining the goal of the company. So business organization, so the definition of business organization is coming from the definition of business and then the definition of organization. Okay, so to combine all, um, the definition of business organization, this is a group of people or unit working together with a common goal of profit maximization and at the same time satisfying the human needs wants by producing goods and services. So they are their main objective is to maximize their profit. And through, maximiz through maximizing profit, their aim is to satisfy the human needs and wants by producing the goods and services uh, which is demand in the market. Okay? So before we dig down deeper to the business world, okay, the business organization, let us first go back to where uh, business um, started, okay, the evolution of business, the history and background of business. So business arrived about 500 years ago. It is originated first in the civilization of Mesopotamia. Um, during those time, the code of Hammurabi is being promulgated and and they already have their provision, okay, na nasila um, government. They already have a wage system. They already have a bank system during that time. And in the Philippines, it all started with what we know as barter. So it is a manual exchange of item for an item. So um, at that time, kanang dili sila magmatter sa value sa item. As long as they want, they really like or they really needed na nila nga item, they're going to exchange it for the other item nga dilit na pud nila kinahanglan okay so that um mona she start sa business and then in the 12th century um chinese traders took over the, most of the philippines trade and established trading communities so the chinese exchanged mga silk mga porcelain mga beads mga cloth pearls and other product to the filipinos so this time um, Chinese became the dominant traders, okay? They became the dominant traders in the 12th and 13th century. And also, after the Chinese, in the in the 16th century, um, the Spaniards arrived and the country enjoys the flourishing trade with the neighboring Asian countries. So the industries such as weaving, gold, um, mga silver, mga, wet, uh, mga metal works will develop at this time. Since the Philippines is already traded to the Asian countries, it leads to the opening of the ports in Manila. Okay, so Manila became the eastern center of commerce. And then it came the American, okay, na ang American period. So they introduced us the education, okay, they introduced us the English language. So during this time, 
um, Filipinos already have done enough knowledge on how to do business, how to do trading. Okay, so dili na mailad ang mga Filipino um, during this time because they already have the knowledge. They can communicate well to the um, to the uh, to the mga foreign people, di ba? So uh, communicate na sila, and then um, they already have knowledge. And then now, and then after the Filipino, um, there comes the entrepreneurial spirit in which the millennial entrepreneurs. Um, ruling the business world diba as you as you have known good karon na age diba kay um ang pag ang pagtukod sa business it, it doesn't matter how old are you as long as you have the spirit as long as you have the enough knowledge as long as you have enough the, enough capital you can build your own business okay so mo na siya ang entrepreneurial spirit and then here comes the entry of the Lazada Philippines in which um the the buying of goods and the selling of goods is very accessible already since you can buy uh the product that you wanted through online okay you can deliver the your product through through door to door diba so mo na siya so very accessible na siya nowadays and people are adapting to the change of the technology or to the to kanang sayo masayon para nila okay so this is the evolution of the business, okay? From barter system without the value of the money to the very accessible time, which is um, you can just in one tap, you can have your product now already, okay? <clears throat> so the modern business culture is a recent development and is capitalistic in nature guided by private business. So when we say modern business culture, this means a modern workplace. Culture embraces technology. Um, businessmen will care less about where and when people, uh, when and employees get the job done. Instead, they create a culture built on mutual respect, trust, and accountability to meet rising employee expectation. So here, before um <clears throat> businessmen um they are very um dictatorship okay um they 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 are kind of author <clears throat> i'm sorry <clears throat> author author authoritarian in terms of leading their people but right right now um businessmen tend to realize that it is not good so they really want to create a an environment for their employee and i trust and i respect and of course, um, through the respects and through the trust that they have shown to their um, employee, of course, they will be retained. Okay, those skilled employees will be retained and will have a lo loyal in your company. So that's the, the modern business culture. And with the use of the technology, um, uh, the business world uh, developed constantly. They've been developed na siya, um, accessible na siya kaayo and then all of the employees is um dili na siya manually dili na sila manually mo perform sa ilahang job but rather with the use of the internet with the use of the technology so dali na lang kaayo and when we say capitalistic this means that um an economic system in which private individuals or business own capital goods and then the products of goods and services is based on the supply and demand in general so capitalistic means um, um it is owned by the private individual okay um private businessman so they are the one who really produce um goods and services in the market but of course they are ought to um follow um, the the rules and regulations implemented by the government example for this one are those pharmaceutical companies okay they invest in research and development treatments for various illnesses so ang ilang innovation it often pays off in the increased profit while also making new medical advances available to the people okay and another example is the innovation developed by tech companies like microsoft apple google and and others so the way how people communicate will change, okay? And the way how the world operates will change by the use of this innovation. So few world largely by profit motivation, these companies continue to innovate in a way that opens up even more possibility. So that's the development um, used in the modern business culture, okay? Since they are a private businessman, they are a private company, and 
and th they develop their, their businesses, okay? They innovate their businesses that would open a lot of possibilities or add a lot of development in the business world. Now, let's proceed to the different business activities. So, these are the different business activities. So, first is the production of goods. So, when we say production of goods, um, this is the process of making or manufacturing goods and products from raw materials or components. So, in other words, um, production takes inputs and uses them to create an output which is fit for the consumption or a good or a product which has value to the end user of co or customer. So basically, um, how product is being produced, okay? Um, asa siya gigi, um, how it is, uh, asa siya gikuha, and then i-manufactured, and then i-supply sa mga tao. Okay? Mauna siya. And then distribution aspect of business. So distribution... Um, it is the process of making a product or service available to the consumer or business user who needs it. So it could be done directly by the producer or it could be in the service provider or magamit sila mga indirect channel. So next is the business supply service. So example of this one are those mga banks, mga services nila, computer service, mga, uh, mga law firms, plumbing, mga emotions, mga theaters, mga consulting firms, okay? So, um, they offered services to the um, consumer. So, business has helped raising standard of living. So, as business and employees increase their wealth, they tend to spend more. So, through spending more, it increases demand for more goods and services. And then, this economic activity is generated by business leads to an increase in standard of living. Diba? Since um, the businessman and even the employee itself, since nanam siya enough na income, so the way he or she lives will also be um, changed. Diba? Like for example, makontinto lang ka o um, ka nang, let's just say, tinapa ang imong sud. And since you already have enough and in, enough income through your employment, then mag-stake na lang ka, stake na po ang imuhang sa so, so, mga ingana. Okay? So, through the bis business, through your um, salary, through your um, investment, it would change your way of living. Okay? And then, creation of customer. Okay? So, how are you going to create a customer? How do business create a customer? Okay? So, the main goal here is to create demand. Okay? So, mag-create yun mo og demand. Like, for example, um, Hinay ang sales karon sa, uh, for example, demand karon ang milk tea. Ngano demand man ang milk tea? Mga ngano booming man ang milk tea? So, mo na siya kitaon. Mo na siya studyhan sa mga businessman. Kay through through good ana, uh, since it is a trend, so customers will have is of ngano man ngano trend man na siya unsa may na ana. So so na ana ang want sa usa ka customer to try that certain product. And through that, na ana ang demand, okay? And since na ana ang demand, so the business, um, in, so the businessman will have its customer already. Next is classification of business. So we have here different classification of business. So first is the agriculture and mining. So this means the um, agriculture and mining, this is concerned with the production of raw materials, okay, such as plants or minerals. And then for financial business, um, like mga banks or other companies, gonna generate a profit through investment and management of capital. And then the third one is information business. So they generate profit primarily from the resale or mga intellectual property. This includes mga movies, mga publishers, and package software. And then manufacturing business. So um, this is the production of products from raw materials or component parts which are sold as a profit. And the fifth one is the real estate business. So businessmen um, will generate profit through selling of properties, okay? Or it could be they're going to develop a properties or they could have a building na ilang parintahan, mga ingana. And then retailing and distribution. So um, they generate profit through acting as a middleman in getting goods produced or 
um, basically naa sila sa middle like for example ang main company is naa sa Manila and then wala pa distributor diri sa region 8 so ikaw ang mahimong distributor sa region 8 ikaw ang middleman between the company to the consumer and then seven service business so they offer intangible services like for example um uh, mag mag hire sila og molimbyo sa inyong balay or mag hire og moayo sa inyong mga appliances so mao na siya ang service business and then transportation business so they are the one who will deliver goods from an individual to their locations okay and through the delivery they're going to um gain profit from it and then utility business Okay, so these are the mga electricity, electricity, I mean, mga sewage treatment. Okay, mao na siya. So those are the classification of business. So now let's proceed to the classification of business based by ownership. So um, business is next, um, it could be owned by it could be owned by partnership or it could be owned by many, which is a corporation or a cooperative. So first here is the sole single proprietorship. So from the word itself, it is owned by only one owner. Okay, basically, um, it only one personal lang ang nag handle aning a business. So iyahatan ng expenses, iyahatan ng profit, iyahatan ng management, and then partnership. So, this is a business owned and operated by two or more persons, okay? So, they bind themselves in contribution in terms of property. They bind themselves in contribution of mga expenses. And of course, in terms of profit, profit they tend to divide it also among themselves. And then, corporation. So, this is the most common form of a business organization. And one which is chartered by a state and given many legal rights as an entity separate from its owner. Okay, so naa siya na ay pinaka main nga owner and then naa na siya different nga mga tao. So mo na siya corporation. Best example for this one are the San Miguel Corporation. Okay, um, the Accenture, the Shell Philippines. Okay, mo na siya ang best nga example. And then when we say cooperative, um, this is an organization that people engage in a business activity to advance a shared goal. Like, common example for cooperative are those agricultural cooperatives, mga electric cooperatives, mga retail cooperatives, or even mga housing or mga credit unions. Okay? Now, let's proceed to the classification of business according to division. So when we say commerce, um, this is um, an exchange of items or value between persons or companies where any exchange of money for a product, okay, service or information in a considered deal or a commerce. So example, mga Amazon, mga eBay. So one is the example of commerce. And then industry, this is an economic activity concerned with the processing of raw materials and manufacturers of goods or factories. So, industry, uh, money sila ang nag-process sa mga raw materials and then 2D manufactured of goods. Okay, mga factories, na sila. And then, the third one is manufacturing. So, example for manufacturing, ang kanang mga apparel, mga textiles, mga gadget, mga com com computers. So, um, they're going to convert room, raw materials into finished product. Okay, so they're going to gather the materials needed for a specific product, like for example, on saman, amo na to, apparel, mga textiles, mga oil, mga chemicals, mga plastics, okay? And then fourth one is construction. So example for this one is kato mga landscaping, mga architecture, mga interior design. So basically, they construct, they build, and then they assemble the infrastructure or the building. Okay, so why is it important to look at the organization as a system? So it is important to look um, the organization as a system since organization will not be succeed, okay, dili siya han ay if wala siya system. So it should be that there is a system, okay? There is a rules to follow and there is a designation of work, okay? So that um, the organization is 
systemize, okay, na sila di follow, na ay hierarchy, na ay division of work. So, importante yun ka ayong uh, organization has a system so that people will know what rules to follow. Kinsa ang ilang i-respect, kinsa ilang mga higher officer. Okay. Business management concept. Okay. Murag paspas rako. Okay. So, what is management? So, according to the definition, management is the attainment of organization goals in an effective and efficient manner through planning, organizing, leading, and controlling. Okay. So, um, Management is not just about managing people, but it is all about management, the overall production, the overall environment of the business. Okay? So, management also, it has a system. Okay? Unsa man ang inyong first step to do if you're going to build a business. Unsa man yung first step nga buhaton if you're going to um, introduce that product to the market. Okay? And before you're going to introduce that product to the market, you're going to study the mga external and mga internal factors that it may affect your um, strategy, di ba? So, it is very important that you're going to manage from planning, what are your approaches, and then planning. Next is organizing. Who will organize? Who are those people behind? And then leading. Kisa may mo lead. And then mo control in case of na ay mga mistakes sa inyohang, inyohang planning. Okay? Na ay mga um, unexpected ng mga panghitabo. Okay? So, in terms of efficiency and effectiveness in management, um, effectiveness here refers to a finding a way to improve the outcomes. Perhaps you can do something very differently, okay? Um, pwede ka mag-change sa imuhang work or mag-change ka sa imuhang approach, okay? So that, through that, um, through that, you'll be able to identify if you're going, you're, you're doing the right thing. For example, na ay project teams. Okay? So, project teams, imong i-update ang task status. And through the, through updating the sta task status, task status, you'll, you'll, you'll identify nga there is something with a, there is something wrong with your approach. Okay? Na ay something sa inyong project na dili imao. So, Ang imong buhaton, Anna, is you're going to eliminate that approach and change, okay? I-change ni mo ang inyong approach. So, effectiveness, okay? So, na-determine na ninyo dito nga. Ang katong first approach, di na siya effective. So, um, now we back up lang. So, i-apply na ninyo ang second nga approach. So, that is effectiveness. And when we say efficiency in terms of management, it is calculated by the amount of the resources used to provide the product or services. Um, efficiency, money siya ang um, when you do the same things faster or with uh, or with less waste. For example, nga, na, na find out dahil ni mo nga, nga mahuman na ang meeting um, 30 minutes kaysa sa 45 minutes. So, it change ni mo siya. Okay, mo, 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 mo prefer ka sa 30 minutes. So, mo na siya efficiency. So, is management an art, science, or even a profession? Okay, so actually, management is an art. Uh, we can say that management is an art in terms, in the sense that within the confines and structure, there is a greater scope for the use of creativity, imagination, initiative, and invention with the overall sphere of the occupation. Okay? So, it is really an art since there is an innovation, man, okay? Um, in terms of management, you will not just stick to the old ways. You have to, to be creative. You have to be imaginative. You have to, be, to, to initiate, good, to innovate um, so that um, you will conform kung unsa man ang trend sa market, diba? Like, for example, um, through motivating and rewarding um, your employee, will do their job more, okay? Um, another example, rational design, organization, or control of mga activities, or even se systematic selection of goals and purposes. So management is a science. So actually, management is a science in a sense that there is a precise, scientific, and exact aspect that have to be learned and assimilated. So, it is a science because of the extent to which the managers are willing to invest in the accumulation of knowledge and the acceptance that management practice can be based on the rigorous application of knowledge, okay? So, 
managers really have that cert- really have the knowledge okay dapat na agid sila in knowledge on how to to manage okay how to knowledge and ang ilahang di applied sa ilahang management style is based po na siya sa ilahang experience okay na asay scientific proof nga ah modern na siya modern ni ang management style nga gi apply ni ni Juan de la Cruz since um, it is proven already from his or her previous nga experience okay so mao na siya nga management also is a science since precise siya na siya exact nga result and na apo siya scientific nga proof that the manager will learn from it and it could be applied pod in the in managing um his or her people and management as a profession so um management is a profession okay in so far like you you are all you are managed to you are trained to be a manager in your own uh, business someday okay since our, our course is very broad man kaayo so you are trained to be a management you are trained to be a manager in your own field um in which you're going to develop your specialized knowledge degree and skills so functions of management so and um, these are the five functions of management as i have mentioned earlier so planning um this is where you're going to to know when where and how and who okay so managers here must navigate the decision making process to help their team reach company goals they um effective planning involves involves identifying challenges so um in in planning process they're going to include kung unsa man ang mga possible challenges nga ma-face they're going to forecast kung unsa man ang future sa business okay they're going to formulate objectives and deadlines okay so for example um our, our goal that uh, five years from now um mo excel na mit kami na ang pinaka number one nga nga leading company mo na goal and how are you going to 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 achieve that goal sa na kay mga objectives okay ang deadline so mo auto siya ang 5 years from now and then when we say organizing um coordination between human resource and material resource so this refers to the complete projects or meet any other company goals managers effectively and of course um it involves financial resources so how are you going to organize okay um um who are those people nga imong i-assign ani nga section i-assign di mo ani nga project i-assign di mo ani nga task okay so na akay um classification of activities okay next is staffing so this is in connection with the organizing okay you're going to select who are those personnel who are those workforce okay kung unsa nga mga activities ang ilaha ang para sa ilaha okay pay dili makapwede nga bisan og wala siya ana nga skilled imo siya assign ana nga trabaho like for example in a, in a food okay let's just say restaurant wala di wala man siya clerical skills yung anong i-assign man siya nimo sa paperwork okay so as a manager it is very important to identify kung unsa ang mga skills sa imong mga tao so that you can put them kung asa sila Uh, maayo kay since kung maayo sila ana nga field of course they will excel and they will perform well then leading directing so giving directions to your subordinates so as a leader you will not just give directions but also you will guide them you will motivate them okay you will you will um encourage them okay so from the start pa lang you will be, you you have to to set in their mind nga mao ni ato ang goal mao ni ang ato ang objectives okay dapat kay bawo sila sa ilahang mga pambuhaton so communicate with your people if you're going to be a manager communicate with your people communicate with them nga mao ni atong goals mao ni atong objectives mao ni inyong mga responsibilities so that um through communicating um you'll be able also to know kung unsa ang mga naa sa ilang mga huna-huna okay And then lastly is controlling. So controlling here, um, this ensures the implementation of the plan without deviation. So this function refers not just to controlling people, but the total supervision of or management of the team or business in general. So 
team are not always immediately successful in tackling their challenges. It is up to the managers to identify kung unsa ang cause sa deviation. Okay? So, it is very important to have a control in everything that a manager will do. Okay? Na agi na, naka-plan, na, na, na naka-manage na nadaan from planning to organizing to staffing to leading to controlling. Because um, before it is implemented, um, dapat hanay na na siya and muagi na na siya of different nga mga evaluations for a a management or for a proposal to be uh, to be released in the market, di ba? Nga ma-approve na na siya, nga i-apply na na siya, i-take on action na na siya. Okay? So that ends with our discussion. Do you have any question? None so far, ma'am. <laughs> Feeling na ko pa sa so far, ma'am. <laughs> okay. Actually, mag-upload uh, mag po ko o PDF copy ani ato ang discussion today so that uh, 